Dr. Rackett again. Intermediate student with Lambda will require picturing programs, a few images to play with. I've named them Jumbo, Pingu, Blinky, and Nemo. I've defined a structure exhibit which has named parts. Pick, feet, name. In a museum, well, that's just a list of exhibits. I'll run this by hitting F5 and then Control D so that I get all the room to play with in interactions. Let's define a list of numbers, starting at 1, stopping before 11, counting by 1s. Here's what that number list looks like. Now I can map the square function so that it squares each number and produces a new list. Or I can map the square root function. Look at that. Those are mostly inexact numbers. That's what the hash i is about. I can map other kinds of functions. For instance, the string length of the opening sentence of Goldilocks can be created like this. I make a list of the strings in the opening sentence, and then I map string length so that it produces the length of each one in a new list. I can create my own functions for mapping, so long as they take one value in and produce another value. Let's produce a function called add5. Adds 5 to a number. Here's how add 5 works on one number. Remember num list. Oops, better spell it right. Num list. Now I can map add 5 so it produces a new list by adding 5 to each number in numList. I could define a function to scale Pingu by the size of the numbers in a list. Here's how scale Pingu works on one number, 0 0.5, half size Pingu. I can create a list of numbers to scale Pingu by Start at 0 0.5, go up to 1.5 in steps of 0 0.1. Here's what that list looks like. Now I can map scale Pingu so that I scale Pingu by each number on that list. Museum is a list of exhibits. I can get at the feet part of those exhibits and put them in a new list using map exhibit feet, or I could map exhibit pick and just get a list of the pictures of each of those exhibits. Similarly, I could map exhibit name, get a list of the names of each of the exhibits in the list.